Hi, so I wanted to show you how I make coconut yogurt. The reason I started making coconut yogurt is because I wanted to have a yogurt that's both dairy-free and sugar-free. And once I started making it, well, I now make it all the time. It's so delicious. The hardest part about making it, because it's super simple, the hardest part about making it is just getting the coconut open, frankly. And one of the ways that I like to do it is to first start by just turning it over, and you've got this pointy end. You're going to just try to get this husk off. You use a knife that's Mm, not maybe your favorite knife. It is going to dull the knife in time. Uh, but you want to dig in and then head towards the tip. Once you've done that, you can give it a nice whack using the bottom tip. And then you'll get a little bit of a hole there. It's going to hold it on the other side. And once you've got it mostly emptied of liquid, which by the way, then you're going to have three coconuts of liquid that you get to drink because fresh coconut water is divine. So I'm going to dig in there, and you're going to be able to lift this up. Get in your knife underneath, and there we go. And you still got a lot of liquid in there now. Pops right out. And then we're going to scoop that meat out. So for instance, we're going to take that meat out. I'm going to use a spoon. Okay. Look, I'm going to scoop it out. And if you get under the layer right by the the brown hard wood, then it'll come up really easily. You can just pull it out. You have to just go in and do that, that little bit of work to dig out the meat. It's beautiful. Okay. And when you pull it out, if it's still got skin on it, you're just going to take that off because we don't need that in our yogurt. Okay. So that's it. Once you've got four coconuts opened, separated the liquid of one, and combine that with the meat of four. And you're going to give that a nice big blend. It's blended up. It's going to look a lot like that. Isn't that gorgeous? So then we're going to add the probiotic. And I just use New Chapter Organics. You take the powder out of its little gelatin capsule. Just give it a nice sprinkle. Loosen it all up. Encourage it all to come out. I just add one. You only need one. Then give it a great stir. Really blending it well. And then we're going to warm it, create a little incubator to get those live probiotics to grow. Now normally people say to put it in a, a dehydrator at 100, 100 degrees. And you can leave it that way for an hour or two. You can cover so another place where I like to put it is on top of the toaster with the door to the toaster closed. It's just a very soft, gentle heat. Just enough to encourage those living organisms to grow and multiply. But once it is sour, put it in a tightly sealed jar or container and then into the refrigerator for 24 hours, after which you're going to have a beautiful, sumptuous, creamy and pure coconut yogurt. Enjoy.